Welcome back. I'm here with Joe Lane and David Worthington, and they're here with all the details on the Chenault Museum's run for the red, white, and blue. Thank you so much, David and Joe, for joining us today. Absolutely. It's great Thank to you. have you back. I appreciate uh, being here. Joe, I love your red, white, and blue <laughs> and the socks. That's <laughs> yeah. wonderful. If it's, a, if it's a red, white, and blue event, we might as well just publicize it uh, all the way. <laughs> Very patriotic. This is 11th annual run for the red, white, and blue. We talked about uh, a lot of it last week, but let's talk about the purpose, Joe. You know, the, the run for the red, white, and blue really has a, a twofold purpose. Number one, our Chenault Museum is a treasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a fundraiser for Chenault Museum, and it's primarily a fundraiser for the, the veterans' efforts, the veterans' outreaches that, that the Chenault Museum has. So we do it, first of all, for the Chenault Museum. That museum is a local museum. No state funding, no federal funding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it, if they happen to get a grant for something, uh, that fundraisers and you know, local organizations and uh, people just becoming members. And so it, it's, uh, it's very helpful for that. The second thing that, that, that we do is, of course, this is a Memorial Day observance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we have the walk run, which is wonderful. It's for any member of the family, any age can yeah. come out and be with mm -hmm. us, do the short run, the longer run. But, but also we have a portion of it where we do a Memorial Day observance. We, we, we want people to be able to come out, honor America, and come out and, and honor our, our you know, service men and women, especially those that gave the ultimate sacrifice. So we have patriotic music, we have a color guard, uh, we have a, a salute to the different branches of the armed force, is we finished that observance part with taps and oh, I've always lovely. said that one year I'm not going to cry when they play oh, taps but so far I'm, yeah. I'm 10 out of 10 oh. so. uh -huh. but it's a it's a wonderful event for the family it's a wonderful event for elite runners it's a, just a great time to come out and if you have other plans uh, we we fire the cannon a real cannon to oh. start the event wow. and at 10 o'clock you're finished with everything and as a result of that you can go on to those other activities. David, uh, would you like to, some input on this? Talk to us about some of the highlights. Well, um, and what this means to you. Yeah, w one of the one of the highlights is what Joe just referred to. There are not too many races that are started with a cannon. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. And our flags, <laughs> too, for freedom. The, uh, the last 100 yards um, of the race, the road is lined on both sides with flags that are five by seven or five by six flags. And the wind is always blowing at the Chenault Aviation Museum near the airport. So those flags are fully unfurled. And it's just um, an emotional yeah. uh, experience for runners, they tell us, mm -hmm. as they complete their race. And there's a lot of I wonderful patriotic music being played in the air as they as they come through the finish line. Wonderful. Hey, David what, and you know, Joe, I'm sorry we're out of time. we got to go to a break, but uh, we look forward to a great event that will be held on Memorial Day. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. And coming up next on Louisiana Living, we'll be joined by Kelsey McCreary with the Strauss Theater. She's going to talk about their singer-songwriter series, so stay with us.